Hello everyone, welcome to my Penny Go Boom. Happy Monday. Uh, we're taking a look at M-E-L-Y again, doing another update here for Microelectronics Tech. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow us or send us a tweet at on Twitter at my Penny Go Boom. So, um, like I said, happy Monday, but you know, as it seems that the uh, holders of M-E-L-Y didn't have so much of a happy Monday. Um, we know today, as we said in my last video on Friday, we have this nice little green candle here on pretty low volume, and we needed confirmation if this reversal was done. Um, and going back up today, well, in fact, today we did not get that confirmation that this downtrend is over. The big thing here that sticks out um, the most here is uh, the volume today. We had a nice little volume bar here. Um, We've been trading on average, so Friday we had about 7.4 million, Thursday 7, 7.7, uh, day before that 8. So it's been trading in like the 7 to 10 uh, million range, which is you know, not very liquid. But today we did in fact have um, a much bigger volume today. We had 56.3 million shares traded. Um, so the volume did uh, increase and come in, however the price did not. Let's take a look. This each one of these candles represents one day. Uh, let's go ahead and look here at a 15-minute chart. Okay, so let's go right. Let me zoom in right here and zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you can see right here. This is the beginning of the day. This is the opening bell, and this uh, signifies the end of the day right here. Uh, the first 15 minutes of the day, we had a nice little 10 million volume. You know, uh, thought things were gonna get uh, get cranking. Um, then after the first 15 minutes, you know, we, we, we had test 25, which was a resistance, which I have stated that we need to get through. It's been a kind of a problem going through that 25 since we broke it. Um, then just after that, then it just started going down, started dumping. So we had the next after that, it was 15 million, uh, you know, shares sold into the bid and then 7 million after that. So we had a nice 10 million volume here at the beginning at the ask. And then after that, we had, you know, c you know, combined was this you know up in the in the 20 million volume uh, range uh, going down and uh, so the volume we needed didn't push us in the right direction so uh, again you know the stock did come down it touched the 21 line a couple times and uh, you know at that point after the first hour or so volume began to die out again uh, smaller trades and um, just you know wasn't it wasn't the day that longs were looking for so again, uh, you know, this support line here, 21, uh, did, um, you know, it got broken uh, momentarily, but for the most part, you know, it still hold, you know, it still held. Well, we did close above it. We closed at 22. Um, so again, this 21 right here is still a big support um, that that uh, the stock needs to stay over. Um, and again, you know, for further more bad news, the five day moving average continues to slide underneath the 10 day moving average as I stated in some last videos um, when the 5 falls below the 10 um, it's typically a short to midterm downtrend um, let's see what else we got here to look at oh and oh, wrong amounts of volume and let's take a look at the MACD here uh, Friday you can see that you know it wanted it was kinda of fighting it to see if we want to stay above this this line here uh, and then today, in fact, it did break down below. We got to see. Well, I mean, we are still above the zero line, but you can see we started to break down this little red, uh, this little red graphing right here. So we are, we are. The MACD is turning down. Everything's turning down. Um, I would say that you know, at this point, this uh, this is, this is just a downtrend. Unfortunately, this, uh, today there was confirmation that there was a uh, a pro, pro mode email that went out yesterday, which is uh, my opinion on why the volume probably came in. However, if you're watching level two, um, you know it. You know, one really knows because we all we don't have level three, but it did seem like uh, some dilution was happening um, or shorting. Again, there's no confirmation of that, but nonetheless, um, we did close here at 22, which we you know it's what we did over here on Friday, on Thursday. So you know we're staying above. The, I guess the only good news here is we are staying above the 200-day moving average. So the, there's some light there. Um, you know, this is going to take some, uh, you know, the market, the bulls are really going to need to have to take over here. The bears are just winning, uh, hands down. So, um, again, let's see uh, what can happen. Uh, again, we're in downtrend. So we're going to see if, you know, this is going to take some serious news from, uh, the company to maybe hopefully let us know what's going on with some, uh, revenues and bitcoins. But as of now, this is in downtrend it is holding it, uh, 0.22. Um, let's see if the bulls can uh, rally and get this thing back up. Thanks so much for uh, watching this video and subscribe to it if uh, if you like what I'm doing here. Thank you so much.